I gotta break the silence. Um, so, uh, by introducing the band, uh, I'd like to have a say hello to Tom Guarna on guitar. Yeah, man. Right. <laughs> and uh, Pat Bianchi will be playing the organ tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Matt Wilson on drums. My name is Dave Anderson. Hello also to our live streaming audience on the internet. <laughs> you can clap for the live streaming audience. <laughs> Thank you. 
for something completely different.
we're going to do another tune now. Uh, little known fact, this tune I actually wrote shortly after a conversation with my brother about, uh, we were talking about our Swedish family tuneology. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> I'd like to write a bop tune. Uh, a lot of bebop tunes had names that ended in ology, and that's why it's like Swedish. So I sat down and wrote this song, and it's called Jam. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
So uh, we are a band named after an album named after a song. And uh, the song is called Blue Innuendo. And the album is Blue Innuendo. Uh, Blue Innuendo is on sale. Uh, but we have so many people in the room that I don't think it's very easy to get to it. Uh, <laughs> so later on, you might see it on your way out. But, uh, uh, it's also exciting for me because uh, I wanted to have my own label for a while to put out projects and I plan to put out an album. And so the new label is Label One and the uh, song is Here on the Wall. And so, yeah, for my own projects and who knows what else might happen with it in the future. So Floss is holding up uh, Blue, Blue and Wendell is really exciting for us. Thank you. 
uh, one of the traditions here at Luchico is to have a little Q&A in the middle of these concerts for the benefit of our audience and our ears and our internet watchers at home. So, um, so yeah, so we were kind of wondering if there's any questions about the music or the band or, or what these guys do. Sometimes people ask, what is the middle clarinet? Um, this is a soprano saxophone. It's part of the saxophone family. And uh, soprano, alto, tenor. This is the tenor. It's not just bigger, it's deeper. What inspired you to go with the organ instrument instead of the cello? Yeah. Well, one thing is I was fortunate to meet this guy at a gig a couple of years ago. But I'd always wanted to play uh, in an organ group. It's actually like a little subgenre of uh, the two solo violins, um, organ, guitar, um, real down home sound. Like who are some of the people who are responsible for the sound quality? Jimmy Smith. question over here.
did a record uh, a couple years ago with Joel Bramlin. Anyone know? Um, <laughs> but it was a duo. Uh, it was uh, no, no, recent. Oh, Rush. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. A record called Rush with some really cool lines. And, uh, so I kind of wrote for a sound that time. Um, so that was a great question. You know, it's a great question. Here at Roberto's Wings and Michiko Studio, and uh, my history in this building is there used to be a bunch of music shops on 48th Street, and I used to come by, and Roberto used to fix my lawn, and I used to bring him a soprano saxophone that wasn't as shiny as this one that I bought when I was a junior in high school, and he would not laugh at me; he would fix it and make it play better. And so uh, Roberto also started uh, some great, uh, this great rehearsal studio. Wonder if the way it started was just people needed rooms to try out gear, and uh, it grew and grew and became a home for a lot of jazz musicians. We rehe we did the first two rehearsals for this album downstairs. Uh, we recorded at uh, CCC Theater in Brooklyn. Yeah, you know what? It sounds good now. It looks like it's got a lot of good stuff inside this song. Yeah, like like the next tune that we're gonna do. It's got like you can see there's one page of written out stuff, and then there's a bunch of symbols, and that's what we did in improvising, and then at the end there's some more written out stuff, but it's a mixture of both. Why do you do it that way? Well, how do you build on that? There's other times we wrote out you know, what we want. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, there's most the piano part, organ part. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. One more question. So the, so the question was, uh, when you're improvising, I asked you the question, do you ever repeat yourself? Do you ever come across something that's so good you have to write it down? Right. And yeah, some tunes have come from improvising and just uh, that, wow, I could develop that into something. And then it becomes a tune. Um, as far as how much gets repeated, um, if you take the album home, you can compare. <laughs> <laughs> So we'd like to play a couple more songs for you tonight. tonight. Really cool. so. <laughs> Actually, let's do a different thing that's different than that. No, and that's a different record is a different band.
right, so before we do one more tune, one last tune, I'd like to thank several people who have made the album possible and contributed to it. So first of all, there's the band, starting with Tom Florida on guitar. <laughs> Cheryl Hooper, who did the great design on the album and the logo, uh, John Rogers Photography, Dr. James Noy, uh, and uh, let's see, Alana Judah, who's been, uh, who's known about this album from the very start, since it was just an idea, all the way through completion, also is doing some visual consulting and hardware design, uh, and the audience, thank you.
Thank you.